Okay, it's July 25th, 2023. Just doing a little garden tour here. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon. And I just thought I'd give you a little walk around. We'd let's see what's going on here. This is my full garden. As you can kind of see, let's do a quick pan. That's about the left side, up into the back, and well, and then over to about there. Well, seven or eight beds and a bunch of grow bags and some other weird stuff. Let's see what we got going here. Let's just go. I have a super fancy mechanism for getting in and out. But usually, you can see my shadow, I just step over. All right, so Brussels sprouts, not doing too great. Look like Swiss cheese. Tony brought these home. No idea what to do with them. We're playing, we're experimenting. Cucumbers, straight eight. Just, ooh, we got a big one here. This guy's probably about a little bit past ready. <laughs> let's just, uh, let's just pull that one, shall we? Okay, it's probably not the best way to do that, but okay, I gotta pull it out and just put it in my pocket. Yeah, so uh, it's a cargo pants pocket, okay, don't worry. Um, this cucumber is Poniente. It's kind of an English snacking cucumber. I don't think there are any on there right now. You can see one's kind of popping out there. We'll see if the other, other ones might have some. This is an overflow one. And there's a pallet plant here full of strawberries and some other couple of the herbs it's doing okay a little baby lemon tree just I really wanted lime to be honest I wanted to try to grow my own limes but we'll grow this lemon see what happens and a couple of things of Kentucky wonder pole beans these guys are going up a bamboo trellis that I made and these guys too they're it's the first time growing these guys so not sure what to really expect. There's lots of leaves, lots of vines. You might, I don't see any fruit yet though. Okay, let's just keep going here. This is uh, five or six tomato plants. I believe these are the Cherokee purple. <laughs> In my wisdom, I planted one variety here and one variety over there. These guys right there. One is Cherokee Purple and the other is Belmont Pear. I'm pretty sure those guys over there are the Belmont Pear, but I can't tell until they get a little more ripe, to be honest. So, uh, some marigolds down there. Basil hiding in the shadows back in there. A little companion planting here. Um, that tomato plant we won't talk about. This is one we learned the hard way, not to cut all the suckers off too fiercely. Um, yeah, these guys are wilting pretty bad. They need some water. Um, you can tell it rained a bunch yesterday, but they're not seeming finicky. Um, oh, okay, here's pickling these two back row, these two here, right next to what used to be the compost pile, are um, pickling cucumbers. This one's doing really, really well. That one's trying to stay alive. Um, you can see here, this one's almost ready. Uh, we got a bunch more coming. It's just all of a sudden sort of took off. Probably got these out too early this year. Anyway, who cares? Um, okay, this bed right now just has... Um, this was garlic. This was the German extra hearty. So right now there's some cilantro that's just sort of finishing up. We're going to... Well, it's going to become coriander seeds. And I just planted in some bush beans. Um, Contender is the variety. It's supposed to be... 50 days so in about six seven weeks we should have lots of beans um this is a cabbage that's gone bizarre something ate the bud of it a long time ago and it's trying to grow but it's it's turning into a monster and these are mother monsters jerusalem artichokes i just sort of let them go from last year this one i tried to pull out a bunch of them and this one i didn't and i'm just I was going to let them go for the biomass, but I think they're just uh, headed to the compost pile here pretty soon. Um, let's get past the flowers here for a bit. Let me go back up here. This was also garlic. This was music. And it's also got a few little um, contenders. Three contender bush bees. So we're already getting some uh, cottonwoods or losing some leaves. 
They're way up there, cutting woods. Um, these are sugar snap peas, still holding on, barely. Some potatoes, kind of getting towards the end. There. I did more like a hilling thing this year. We'll see. There's three pepper plants, a little bit hard to see. One there, one there, and one here. And uh, pretty sure that one's a bell pepper. You can kind of see. Got a little pepper going there. And this one, these are overflow. I, I'm pretty sure these two are jalapenos. There's some echinacea growing here, just a little bit guy there. Dill um, everywhere. I'm just not, I'm not even gonna mention the dill. It just grows here like crazy. So uh, here are more Poniente, that sort of English. Ooh, there's a nice big one. You can see them back in there. That one is ready to be harvested too. I'm gonna have to get him in a minute, but I'm gonna cut him off. Um, it's been great. Um, the thing I think is really amazing is this watering system. So I got a one gallon water bottle buried up to its neck basically. And I water, I, get, I fill this up every two, three days, depending on the weather. Um, been really good. These guys look really nice. They are super happy, growing like crazy. And I've already got just a ton of fruit off it. I want to say 15 cucumbers, 20 maybe already. So, um, okay, other tomato bed. These are, I believe, the Belmont pear. You can kind of see a bunch of them in there. Belmont pear, maybe. And, okay, then, oh yeah, here's a big one. That big one right there. I'm pretty sure these guys are the Belmont pears. They just so look like it. They, um, they're just, and you can see I got a lot of fruit set. Um, they're doing, I'm, I'm guiding these up the trellis, trying to almost go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight um, leads right now off these three plants. Oops, um, you know, whatever. So they're, yeah, they're growing pretty well. Let's go around on this side. I got the, I really love these. My favorite marigolds growing over around the front. There's a mixture, some basil in the back there too. Um, this is a bell pepper. There's another one back in there. Each of these white, I like peppers in these guys just for support. So I've got four of those, you can kind of see them. And then this is a jalapeno. Somewhere is actually a real jalapeno there. You can see the jalapeno pepper. Just kind of hanging out there. Um, some basil, surprise. Couple more Belmont pears here, I believe. We're just gonna call it that for now. Until somebody, until I find out it's not. Uh, here is a, the, kind of my herb bed. It's sort of a half shade, partial sun bed, but it had a lot of onions in it. So a few others are just about ready to, to pull out here. Um, guess what's going in here too? Contender, two contenders. We eat a lot of green beans. So I'm gonna try to grow a lot of green beans this year. Um, Bunch more dill, some echinacea hiding in the back there. And then, uh, last, last but not least, well, this is my lavender, just sits in the corner. The bees absolutely love it. Oh, and there goes our sun. Okay. Well, fine, we're gonna pop it onto the um, wide angle. And uh, she's gonna go down the flower bed. Nasturtiums, um, dahlias, Stock, viola, snapdragons, basil, alyssum, dill, um, zinnias, jasmine, alata, tobacco family thing, um, some salvia just starting to come in there, uh, more zinnias, I like zinnias, the uh, violas went a little cray cray this year. This is columbine, oh, this is not columbine, this is a weed. I'm trying to pull up here, but anyways, but this is columbine here, trying to do something. There's some lupins back in there, you can see those leaves are lupins, but no flowers. Oh, yarrow, just coming up now. Um, more marigolds, giant marigolds. Nasturtiums, chives, 
And then more alyssum. Oh, here's some salvia that's going a little further. It's really popping there. And more here. Oh, that's about it. That's our garden this year. At least right now, as of July. There's a little helper dog. Bella, what you doing? Are you helping? Let's get a little closer on you. Can you sit? Do you do what you want? Yeah. Bye, Bella.